I always say, if you want to make God <laughs> laugh, tell him your plans. I love um, it. I love it. I thought I was going to play baseball, and I mean, for the most part, everybody thought so too. You know, I played my whole life and got offers to play professional baseball um, all the way up through high school, and then I was I turned down those offers to go play college and had an injury and. Is um, it a Tommy John? I did. I had Tommy John surgery and. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I just think uh, the funny thing about life is. Uh, Every time a door closes, if you really are able to wrap your head around it, it probably means because there's a better opportunity for you. And so uh, baseball was a big part of my life, but it's kind of like relationships, you know. Just because it didn't work out doesn't mean you can't look back on it fondly. I'm really, really grateful for the, the years that I had playing baseball, and I had some really good experiences. And um, I'm now in a place where I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything I mean, or trade it for the back. world. So, I, yeah. I saw that moment on your social media where you got the phone call from Reba. And looking back on all of that and think, wow. Yeah, a, a really big 180, but also like I couldn't I couldn't feel more blessed and excited for the way things have gone down. Congratulations, Thank by you. the way. How was that phone call? You know, it's already really exciting to get a phone call saying that you've won an, an ACM. Yeah. So like anybody could have called and that would have been great news. <laughs> uh, but you know, she's one of the few people that I haven't gotten to meet yet in this industry. And obviously she's an icon and so to get that news and to have it be the first time you ever talked to Reba McIntyre. Um, <laughs> it was really neat. I mean, I, I was I was probably more nervous in that phone call than I've ever been on stage performing in my whole <laughs> life. So. You don't look nervous on stage. I, 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 well, thanks. <laughs> no. Wrangler got to show part of your concert on the Wrangler Network last I, year at the Party for a Cause. That's awesome. That was so much fun, by the way. Yeah. Um, the, I, being on stage is one of the most comfortable places in the world for me, I think. Uh, uh, well, it's and doing something that you love to do. I mean, I'm so aware that not very many people get to actually love what they do, and so um, I have so much fun on stage, and I'm so comfortable. And so, when somebody like Reba calls you, that's when the nerves kick in. You're like, I remember, I remember, I got the call, and I, I crossed my leg, and I was like, just act cool. So if you saw my eyes get really big about 10 seconds in, that was me telling myself, just act cool, Brett. <clears throat> so your favorite on stage moment. My favorite on-stage moment, you know my favorite was, uh, we, we closed out last year with our first little headlining tour, and uh, that was the first time we started mixing uh, the current single into the set, uh, a song called Mercy. Yes. And uh, we had decided we were gonna stick it in our encore because we didn't think anybody knew it yet, but my first single, Sleep Without You, was gonna be the second song in the encore that we closed with. So we thought when we came off stage before the encore, everybody would be screaming for Sleep Without You. And, screaming and the first night, we screaming for a song we hadn't put to radio yet. And for me, we, so I already cool. knew I wanted to single it next, um, but it was that was my favorite moment because it was like, they know this one already. Yeah, so that was really cool, and it ended up happening throughout the rest of the tour, but it was the first time we had an hour and 15 minutes every night to test it, and it was a really cool moment. That's awesome. Your go-to onstage outfit? Uh, probably, th I mean... Yeah, comfy. Every well, time I've seen you, you look like a... Always casual. a t-shirt and jeans or... Uh, some sort of comfortable pants and almost always in the pair of Chuck Taylors. Yeah. I'm a I'm a so cowboy through and through. I can't I can't get it out of me. <laughs> George Strait song. Run. Run, new yeah. one. Has nobody said that? No. I love that song. I've been listening to country music for I guess 25 years now. Yeah. And uh, that's one. Are that you 25 years old? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Yes, 25. <laughs> and uh, that's one of the ones that uh, it, 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 most of his music is timeless. But for me, that that's one that, that uh, continues to uh, transcend. Uh, every time country music changes a little bit, yeah. that one still works. So I okay. dig it.